So now that we have edit, added edit, delete will be very easy to do. So if I click on delete right now, would not have anything work. So what I need to do is go to my SKUs. Let me close all the files first so that uh, you can see what I'm opening here. Go to the student's controller. No, sorry, that's the uh, SKUs controller. And I want to copy the edit function. So the whole edit function here, copy, and down here, paste. And this goes to the delete, like so. So everything remains the same. Everything here, exactly the same, validate. Now we don't need to validate the data at all. What we need is, um, let's remove the validation. There will be no errors. So let's remove this error thingy here. The row will remain because we still need to ask the question, do you want to delete? Okay. And then instead of update, we have delete. And then we remove the post data. We just leave the ID. Then we redirect to schools again. And this remains as it is. Instead of edit, we'll have the delete view. Great. Okay. So that's what it is right there. Now we just want a view. So I'm just going to copy the edit is closest to the delete. Select everything and right click. New file. Paste. Save this guy. Save it as schools dot delete dot view dot php and everything else remains the same except um, what is this what is this what is this we don't need no errors here at all so i'm going to remove the error thingy then instead of uh, delete school i'm just going to ask are you sure you want to delete double maybe a question mark and exclamation point there. And this is going to be an input that has the school name, but we want to disable it. So I'm just going to say disable, d disabled. And then this one is the uh, save, we'll change that to delete. And instead of primary, let's change this to danger so they know what they're doing. And then this one is the success. That's the green one to discourage them from deleting. So let me refresh and they will. Are you sure you want to delete Gonda? So cancel and delete. So cancel. Let's see and try to delete this one and click delete. Refresh, resend, nothing. So it didn't happen, which means Let's go here. We didn't even redirect, which means we didn't get to this point right here. So this didn't happen right here. This is directly under this. So if this didn't work, it means we didn't send any information at all. This is why. Hmm. But why is this? Okay, so let's see here what we have in the post. Okay, so I'm just going to say print readable just to see what information we are carrying. So back here and delete. So it's an empty array. This is why things did not work. So good. Let's get back to the delete and see why that could be. So success, delete, that's submit, disabled, and we have a value, we have a name. So maybe because it is disabled, that's why it's not doing anything. So let's just put a dummy thingy here. So I'm just going to put an input, and type of hidden. This has nothing to do with anything. It's just that we want to add something to the post variable, right? So I'm just going to say name, I just call it ID. It's really nothing. So uh, maybe let's give it a value. I think without even a value, it's going to work still. We just want something to post. So refresh, resend the data, and let's try and delete. Okay, that time it worked. 
Very good. So now we can add that back and create again. Boom. There we go. Okay. So delete is done. Edit and add new. Very good. Okay. So in the next video, let's do the same thing and add... Um, wait a minute. Add classes because the order is we add schools, we add staff members, then we add students or classes then we add students to those classes all right so as a bonus let me add the crumbs here now these bread crumbs here as they are known as they are links to go back to where you came from and just to show you to show the user where they are in the grand scheme of things so what we can do is let's go to the uh, crumbs uh, include there it is crumbs.view right so this one is the current page so it has the active this one i don't think we need so let me remove that and see if anything changes and yeah, nothing has changed okay so this is pretty good the one that is active will add the active thingy there so i'll remove this for now i'll just remember to do that and actually we don't need any of these guys. Uh, yes, we don't. Not at all. If I now refresh, I just have home. Good. What I want now is a loop right over here. So I'm just going to say for each. So let me add this into a PHP tag and say for each. And then here I will say crumbs like this as uh wait for each crumbs as um, crumb let's just do that bread crumbs and then i'll do this close that like this and do that and then i will do this and say end for each Okay, semicolon, close that, like this. So, the first thing though, we need to know if these exist. So I'll duplicate these two and then move this inward. So I'll say if crumbs, if is set like this, crumbs, and then I'll do this, okay. If that is set, something isn't right here. Uh, one bracket missing. Okay. So if that is set, then loop through here. And then when you loop, the first item in the thing is going to be the name of the crumb. Like this. So this is going to be crumb zero. Uh, no, no, no. Yes, crumb zero. Like this. Then close that. And then the second item will be the link to that, whatever it's linking to. So I'll put that as one like this. And that's it. This is all we need from here. So I will refresh. Syntax error, unexpected token for each. Where, 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 where? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Okay, let's see here. Something is wrong. This is different to that. So what did I do wrong? Let's see, open close bracket. It's very uh, easy to do such things over here to miss something without noticing. So what am I doing wrong? Should I put a, no. If this is different, maybe the problem is starting from over here. Okay, so let's see what the error is. Syntax error, unexpected token end for each, expecting else if. Okay, so this is true. This one should be if at the end here. Sorry, my bad. Okay, that's all good. So you see there's nothing here because the crumbs are not given. So let's give these so-called crumbs. I'll go to schools right here. So let's say here we are on the read which is the index right so let's add some crumbs to this 
So I'm just going to say crumbs, breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs is just too long to, to, to add. So I'm just going to add this and say, uh, this is going to be equal to an array like this. And then in this array, I'll put the first thing as home or I can call it dashboard. Okay. And then I will, on the second item, I will add the link to the dashboard. And this link is uh, just a slash like this, actually. Like so. Okay. Then duplicate, duplicate. Now, dashboard and actually just two. We just need two of these. And then dashboard, this one will be screws like this and then this one will be slash screws let me not even put the slash here I'll just leave that out because that's the home page so crumbs added so I'm adding a uh, this one will be an array and inside I'm adding another array like this so that's what I'm doing here so the array item add to the end of the array and then add an array in there so this is screws just like that so here I'm going to copy this and in the add, I would do a similar thing and do this and dashboard. And then this is schools only that I'll add one more thing. And this one will be add and add will be schools slash add like so. And then copy this come down here to the uh, ear edit same thing right over here and put edit here instead same thing come down here to the delete and put a delete delete uh -huh. actually I don't even need to put a link on the end because we won't be adding that link but I can leave it anyway not really a problem so I'll add delete here uh, yeah we don't need a link on this one but we'll see uh, this one is edit and what's the other one add yes add okay then I need to add the crumbs now to the list here so I'll copy this crumbs and crumbs there then copy that and add it everywhere where I need it. So this one here also, we'll take comma. Maybe I'll add it first instead. And come down here to add, there it is. Come to edit, just add it over here. And come down here to delete, add it over there. Okay, pretty cool. Now let's try this, refresh. So we are not seeing anything here. Let's come back to here. Let's see. Crumbs is there. Okay. So what's going on? If it said crumbs, crumbs is crumb. Okay. Let me come down here and just say, uh, let me do this. I want to see what's inside. So print readable, do that. That's the best way to debug. So refresh, refresh, nothing, right? Let's see var dump because var dump shows us the data type as well. So refresh. So it's not even uh, showing up in here. Okay, so what's going on? Why? So it's just saying it's not set. So crumbs is not set here okay so i see what the problem is here no worries no worries so what i need to do is go to the um uh what's this where are we here school view right here so when we are including the crumbs here we're supposed to add that item to the end here so I'll do this and just say crumbs like that and put an equal to crumbs 
So the thing is, every time you use the view, you have to actually send the data that you're running with in there, otherwise it won't display. So if I refresh now, you see, there we go, dashboard screws. Okay, that's the thing. And if I click on here edit, I'll have the same thing. So I'm just going to copy this. That's how it should be. And go to the uh, delete view, right? Right here, paste. Let's go to the edit view, same thing, paste there. Let's go to the add view and paste there. So if I refresh now, you see, there we go, breadcrumbs, console, delete, the breadcrumbs are accurate, console, add, accurate breadcrumbs. Even though the last item shouldn't have a link, so let's come back and fix that real quick. Back to the crumbs, where are the crumbs? Right here. So here if, um, so how do we know this is the last item? Uh, Hmm, that's gonna be a toughie. Okay, let's fix that in another video because the video is already getting too long, but at least you get the idea. It's just that the last one here should not be clickable. So we should add an active thingy here like so, active to make it unclickable. I refresh and it's not working on these babies. Where is this? Yeah. So we'll see how to fix that in the next video.